was she like then, uh, in 1935, the first time you met her? What was your first impression of her? Do you recall? Well, uh, she was... Uh, she was stunning and startlingly beautiful. I mean, she was, she would take your breath away and kind of... I remember the first time I actually met her was I was tongue-tied and I didn't quite know how uh, how to act. Newspaper reporter. At yes. That time and uh, before you uh, achieved success as a singer. Yes. How would you write the lead for this story? Oh, no. First place, I don't know what the story is. The story is... Well, the passing of a great lady. The story is... From my point of view, it'd be very difficult to write a lead because I'm, I, I hardly know what to say myself, much less put it in writing for, uh, for uh, public consumption. Well, Hollywood, I don't know. Don't ask me to do that. I mean, you write a story, and I'll, I'll write ahead, maybe. But uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a shocking thing to learn the way I did so suddenly. I, I, I was... I was so upset. I was so put out. And then people started calling from from, from all over. Uh, New York, Chicago, San Francisco, London. They, they want a statement. A statement was... It's a very hard thing to make. You don't make statements. You just kind of bite your lips and say, I'm sorry, I, I can't believe it. And you kind of stutter, and I'm still stuttering. I still don't... I, I, I still can't believe it. 